Hey Boos, got another test for you. So we are continuing on with the Go Tanks Boo Multi AI Test Part Two. <laughs> so this time we got Go Tanks Boo with Freeze AI versus Go Tanks Boo with Goku AI. So I finally get to see those AIs that I definitely want to see. I want to see Frieza, Vegeta, and Goku. So uh, nice, uh, you know, pair up there, Coach. So we get to see. Uh, Hopefully, two opposite sides of the spectrums a, a B2 -er versus a melee. -er. Hopefully, I don't know. And as soon as I say B2 -er versus melee, and the B2 -er decides to do a 14 hit melee combo of impressiveness. <laughs> I say, I, I, I'm super happy that Gotenks Boo is back, so we can do much better next season. In my opinion, I, th I, th I think that Gotenks Boo, the return of Gotenks Boo, definitely helped. And I did read up on, you know, the whole uh, power body thing, and then, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I understand with some of the characters why it was banned. Oh, Special Beam Cannon misses. And Galactic Donut connects. Uh, it just kind of sucks that Kid Boo can't use it, but, you know, that, yeah, that would be kind of broken, as we clearly saw before. I didn't know they had some natural, you know, kind of defense. B2 build, you know, that's an 18-hit melee combo. Let me see some B2s, Frieza. That's what you're, you know, that's what you're known for. Uh, charge it up and launch it. Throws away, just knocked him right back. Oh, I mean, Goku has that melee game, too. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Gotenks Boo showing, like, ah, oh, nah, the melee combo, I got this. Rebirth, don't. Wow, yep. A rebirth too strong. <laughs> Takes a special beam. Frieza eats the special beam cannon. It would be over anyway, but really? Frieza only did a half a bar of damage. No. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and go on to round two. So, uh, definitely, uh, we've been looking at maybe Majin Buu to have the power body since, you know, power body is once per one per team. And. And the thing with me is that, oh, Special Beam Cannon from hella long away? Nope, does not connect. Is that I feel like Power Body goes on more of a melee, you know, person who's all up in their face and doesn't care. And I've never really seen Majin Buu as a melee, that's just me personally. Uh, he's definitely the worst melee on the entire team, and I mean the entire team, because Evil Buu does it better, Gotenks Buu does it better, Kid Buu does it better, Oob does it better, so Majin Buu is definitely the worst, and, you know. For him to have the power body and be trying to focus on melee, I really don't see it. But, you know, we're trying to have everybody have multiple builds, so... Uh, if we're gonna make him a, a melee, that'd be a great way, especially since it takes a little while for uh, Majibu to get started. Donut misses. So far, not a lot of B2s. A lot of melee game. I don't know, maybe Vegeta would do it. I don't know. Goku, being impressive with the melee game, of course. Nice melee combo. We already know Goku's pretty much meant for the close combat, so. But Frieza pull, Frieza pull nice. Frieza knows when to use them explosive waves, though. Frieza's been pretty impressive with the melee game too. I really didn't know that Gotenks Boo wanted to do melee like that, but I'm saying I, I do think he can be a really good melee around the team as well. So, I, Donut does not connect. So I'm probably thinking too far ahead of this, and I'm trying to start thinking of, you know, maybe a playoff team where everybody goes. And, uh, you know, haven't really seen anything so far. Super Kamehameha will miss, most definitely. What I haven't seen so far, and, you know, what I expect out of the team, I'd probably say that Kid Buu and, uh, and Gotenks Buu will be our B-tours. Because you know, they have the best ultimate, and we probably want to take advantage of that when it comes to the playoff. Uh, Melee ours will be Oob, and then I believe that Go... I mean, Evil Boo. Alright, well, Frieza beat that one, so we're moving on to round three. <laughs> and, uh, Oob and Evil Boo will be our mailers. Well, Oob will be spouting the, you know, the eternal life with the attack plus two and the, you know, his usual fashion on his, uh, Trunks AI. Very impressive. And, uh, Evil Boo, I was thinking, would be spouting the attack plus one, the quick, fast attack in the series. And those last four points would go to, uh, Power body. 
and does allow him to be a great mailer and tank. Of course, he already has a defense minus one from the power body, the same thing that Ubi having, so pretty much Ubi will have the HP up and the attack plus two, while Iwubu would have the, the, you know, the power body with only attack plus one. And then for uh, Bajin Buu, oh my god, super common health from Goku, and it connects. Like I said in the last video, go take the likes to do the Super Kamehameha. Frieza, on the other hand, didn't do anything max power. Goku did not dodge. Tried to over and over and over, but Frieza was like, nah, I'm just gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna show you when I'm gonna do it right at the right time. Just right. And then Majin Buu, uh, Special Beam Cannon's gonna go through that, and it's over. Frieza wins. <laughs> Frieza talking all that good shit, like swatting a fly. <laughs> Alright, so we got a couple more AI tests, so be right back. Alright, let's do it again. So we got Gotenks Boo here with Cell AI versus Gotenks Boo with Vegeta AI. You know, so I'd probably think that's how the lineup would go. You know, Majin Boo takes a little while to get started, so it's only uh, natural that we give him the the defense build so he can last as long as he can and you know do something unlike the last playoffs where freaking team gohan smacked his ass in 30 seconds all right so cell ai is uh more of an evasive melee ai uh, while vegeta ai is supposedly a b2 ai so uh, so far we really haven't seen any ai for gotenks through that wants to you know emphasize doing b2s mainly gotenks boo has been showing us that he wants to be a gohan boo and do some great melee which you know what you want to <laughs> all right they both charge or not cell decides to throw the donut and vegeta doesn't launch the special beam cannon in time so he takes the damage and cell kicks him and hits him and Vegeta kind of is just not doing so hot. It's about two bars behind right now. Charging up. Donut from Cell. Connects with the wall. Donut from Vegeta connects on two. <laughs> Cell. Blows him up for 7.5k points of damage. Vegeta's stand back and charging up. Vegeta at max power. Cell at max power. Will we see a Super Kamehameha Ultimate? If Cell does it, it's over. It connects, it's over. Nope, I'm gonna launch a donut, and the donut connects. Is that over? No, it's probably not over. Nah, a little bit more left. 9k points of damage, a little bit left. Nah, that's not enough. Super Kamehameha from Vegeta. Donut. No. 15k points of damage and lost targeting. There you go, it's connected. They're both on their last bar of health. Can Vegeta bring it back? Can he do it? If he wants to, I mean, if he stands back and launches some B2s, now, so far, Vegeta's been doing it, launching some B2s. Vegeta max power, and Cell goes for like them and whoops that ass. He's like, nah, I don't give a shit about your max power. Let's go again, round two. Now, so far, Vegeta... I mean, I'm liking it. Vegeta seems like he likes to stand back and launch some B2s, and I totally don't mind that. Charge it up and launch it. Bastion Bell being cannon does not connect. Cell launches the donut, does not connect. Alright, I'm gonna get a little bit of melee game in here. Getting a little bit stale, just standing back and launching B2s. Oh, Vegeta is behind Cell, he's like, revenge from last match! Uses the super explosive way. Cell is charging up, Vegeta charging up. Cell launches the special beam cannon, does not connect. Cell, ping pong in a little bit. Cell uses the super explosive wave to knock the Vegeta back. Cell with a pretty good melee combo. Vegeta, Vegeta, I almost said Vegeta. Vegeta counters with a nice little melee combo as well. Cell up in Vegeta's face again. Vegeta counters. Anybody want to charge up a little bit? Maybe lots some B2s? No, nope. Vegeta's like, nah, I'm okay. I'm just gonna kick his butt, grab him, throw him away, and charge up? No, go after him. Okay. Alright, now Vegeta's charging. Vegeta going up to max power. Vegeta, you were just behind him and you decided to teleport in front of him? Really? 
Vegeta jumps back. Super Kamehameha to the face. 15k points of damage. So is on his last bar of health. Donut connects. I don't think it's over. Nope. Little bit left health left. And Vegeta wins. So we're going on to round three. All right. Alright, Vegeta starts it off by charging up to full power, throwing some Rush Blast and a donut that misses completely. So, it uh, kind of just flies around, really not doing anything. Alright, Vegeta trying to get up and close and personal for some melee game, but so teleports behind him and gets a nice 15 hit melee combo off, but Vegeta decides to counter and decides to start on his own little melee combo? No! So, blocks, oh, Vegeta! Who wants it more? Wow, alright. Vegeta tried to charge up that hit <laughs> and so decided to get a few just strikes in while he's trying to charge his smash and then decided to just dodge it. So the Cell is about a bar ahead now. Special Bin Cannon, that wasn't going to connect at all. <laughs> I think Cell's a little bit more impressive in the melee game than Vegeta. Vegeta, you're a B2, alright? Charge up to max power? You want to launch a Super Kamehameha? Be my guest, sir. That's definitely what the blues were missing. Is a person with a good ultimate likes to do it. Oh, special than cannon. Ooh, but Cell says, uh-uh, not today. That's definitely what we've been missing. Is a person who has a good ultimate that wants to use it. Special than cannon from Cell misses. Jesus jumps back, launches a special beam cannon up close and personal for 7.7k points of damage. And Vegeta goes back to charging, so also charging. Anybody want to go max power? Both of them go to max power. Will we see a super common haul from either one of them? Be doing some nice damage. So decides to do a nice melee combo. So Vegeta jumps back, super common haul right to the back for 15k points of damage. Special beam cannon connects for 9k points of damage. They're both on their last bars of health. Who wants it more? Who wants it? Who wants it? So, Vegeta! Vegeta wins. <laughs> Alright, so we got one more test for the Gotenks Boo Multiple AI Test Part 2. So, let's go ahead and get that started as soon as possible. Be right back. Alright, last one. So, we got Gotenks Boo here with Gohan AI versus Gotenks Boo here with Krillin AI. So, I've never really been a big fan of Krillin AI. We really haven't been utilizing it uh, this, you know, since I joined the Boos, really. Uh, neither really with Gohan uh, AI, but I mean, with Gohan AI, I mean, if he wants to charge up and, you know, be more aggressive and do more ultimates, then more power to you. But let's see if these two are going to be impressive with the melee game. Oh, we got a clash. Who's going to win it? Go Gohan wins it. Krillin wins that little bout. Really haven't seen anything too impressive from neither from neither one of them, actually, you know. So far what I've been seeing from other Go Tanks boos is, you know, impressive melee combos, charging up launching beast too. These two really haven't been doing much of anything. Alright, well, Krillin is charging up. Gohan charging up. Krillin goes, throws a donut, misses. Gohan stops mid-charge and decides to do only a six hit melee combo. Does the default com melee combo. Six hit combos. Knocks him up, gets interrupted. Krillin derps and eats a special beam cannon full charge for 12k damage. I don't like neither one of them. They're really, both of them are unimpressive so far. You know, this, this, is, the, this is the worst match yet. They're both not really doing anything. Special Cannon eats it. So they both derp. They have both derped and, eat a, and ate a Special Beam Cannon. A cla another Clash. Gohan wins it. Rebirth. Connects. Krillin, you could have won, but you decide to let him get the Rebirth off. Krillin does a nice melee combo. 19 hits for 6k points of damage. Alright. 
Krillin can actually still take this. If Krillin wins this, I'm gonna be so disappointed in Gohan. Krillin throws, throws a donut, nice combo, connects. 7.5k points of damage from that combo. Dojima Cannon misses. Gohan, who wants it more? Who wants it more? Krillin wins. Gohan was on his last bar of health, used a burst, gained two bars of health, and then Krillin still took it out. It's disappointing, Gohan. Really disappointing. <laughs> but really, I'm not really impressed with neither one of them. Seems like all the other AIs have been doing either better melee game or better B2 game from uh, all the other AIs, but hey, they wanted to go ahead and test them almost more at this point. So will we see a part three is the question. <laughs> Gohan throws a donut. Krillin dodges it. Krillin charging. Gohan kind of just flying away. Now they're both flying away. <laughs> Krillin gets behind Gohan. Does a little combo and a throw. Krillin charging. Donut and connects. Krillin is about bar ahead now. Special Bean Cannon does not connect. Gohan does a very unimpressive melee combo. Krillin does a fairly impressive melee combo. 14 hits for 5k points of damage. Special Bean Cannon does not connect. Krillin is out go is out meleeing Gohan. Connected with more B2s as well, so really. Gohan really hasn't done much this entire fight. Probably the most unimpressive AI I've seen for Gotenks Boo yet. We got Krillin at full power. Krillin with a throw. And a rebirth, because why hell not? And makes and gets it off. And gets it off. Gohan. And Krillin has literally trounced. Trounced. Jump back. Donut in the face. Krillin has been combing it up. And it's over. Wow. Gohan. That. Gohan. I have nothing to say about that one. Alright, so that was... Go Tanks Boo Multiple AI Test Part 2. So, if you have a Part 3, be sure to go ahead and put it down, and I will try to get it to you as soon as possible. So, thank you for supporting me as your tester, and thanks for watching.